Thank you for the tribal mercies to get here today, and we ask you to get us home safely later this afternoon. We just thank you for all that you do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Miles wrestlers to compete in both divisions in the tournament. In 1989, Mitchell Hasselrig was a 12th round draft pick by the Pittsburgh Steelers, and he went on to be selected as a Pro, pro Bowl offensive lineman without ever playing. I went to the University of Pittsburgh at Johnstown, where I wrestled and uh, had a pretty good career there. During my career at, at Johnstown, I had to uh, uh, overcome a lot of adversity. Uh, things weren't always positive, and that's something that uh, some of you young men and women are going to have to deal with in life, adversity. Whenever you fight adversity, you have to keep your nose right, keep your nose in it, keep it, keep it to the grind, and keep on going strong. After um, I went to the University of Pittsburgh at Johnstown and wrestled, um, six-time national champion. I was then drafted by the Pittsburgh Steelers after not playing football uh, since high school. Um, I didn't play, I, I, I played, uh, when I first got to uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers, I played starters and boom, before low and hold, you know that I was a pro bowl. Uh, during those times, I stayed positive. Um, you know, whenever you're playing uh, pro football, there's a lot of guys who don't want you to be there. Uh, so I had to overcome that. Uh, I had to overcome my own doubts, my own fears. Adversity, once again, my own doubts, my own fears. I had to keep staying positive to make, make my journey come true. Um, a, as I said before, I believe that this two kids, I uh, fought MMA. I didn't have my first MMA fight till I was 43 years old. I uh, was sitting on the couch watching TV, and I felt to myself, hmm, I could do this. I can do what these guys are doing. And, you know, I, I put myself to the test went out and got the job done in MMA as well. And right now what I'm doing is coaching kids in Johnstown. I had a uh, small wrestling club, uh, MMA uh, fight club down in Johnstown. It's called Cold Steel. Uh, we had some good kids and then right now all the kids that are doing good in the area, they started in my club. So uh, I'm trying to keep that going, keep that, keep that positive. So I'd like to say uh, good luck to all the men and women Good luck to uh, all the people who signed up for the military. Stay positive, stay focused, and good luck. Mr. Hausberg, I thank you for your words. You. And uh, I'm going to ask the commander and first sergeant to come up here. We'd like to present you with a little token of our appreciation. Ladies and gentlemen, the first oath under the Constitution was approved by the Act of Congress on September 29, 1789. It applies to all who enter military service. Captain Robinson will now give the enlisted oath to our future soldiers. Please stand and feel free to take photos. All right, good afternoon. <clears throat> soldiers, attention. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name. Do solemnly swear, solemnly swear to, to, support and defend to support and defend the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the United States. Against, all enemies, against all enemies, foreign and domestic, foreign and domestic. that I will bear true faith, I will bear true faith and, allegiance to the same, and allegiance to the same, and that I will obey the orders, I will obey the orders of the President of the United States. And the, orders and the orders of the officers appointed over me, the officers appointed over me. According, to the regulations according to the regulations and the uniformed code of military justice. So help me God. So help me God. Adios. All right, you all stand and rest and give my speech if you will turn and face the stage. Because this speech is for you. I know I speak to you guys monthly, sometimes weekly, we check in. I don't know if you all know this, but I'm speaking with these future soldiers. They're a part of our company, and their safety and welfare is important to me, as well as our recruiters. So I'd like to say good afternoon to our distinguished guests here today, families and friends, my fellow service members in attendance, and of course, our young, motivated group of future soldiers here. 
We're here today to recognize each of you future soldiers for your decision to change your lives by joining this team. The lessons you learn in the military about yourself and the world around you is going to make a memorable impression on your life. The Army starts with protecting the United States of America and its citizens. Joining our team means that now you're going to be a part of that, and that has a big meaning for you. The Army is unlike any other job out there. You're going to have the opportunity to develop yourselves physically and mentally, learn a new trade, set yourselves apart as determined and disciplined um, individuals. And most importantly, you're becoming a part of our Army family. Any of you that have been to our events, I always say that that's the most important part of the Army to me is the brotherhood that it creates, that you'll have for life. You'll make strong bonds with your fellow soldiers and leaders that are going to last you a lifetime. The soldier's personal decision to serve demonstrates a collective strength strengthen within yourselves, and strengthen within your friends and family that are supporting you. Soldiers are strengthened by those who understand and support your decision to serve our nation and elevate your future. I'd like to thank all the guests and attendants here today for supporting these soldiers and the adventure that they're about to undertake. We're proud to be preparing you to embark on this journey, and I have no doubt of the successes that you will have. So welcome to our team. There you go.